advice do you have for people that are feeling stuck in life and are having a hard time pulling themselves out of it? What would you, what sort of advice would you give them? Well, depression really is a way of getting stuck. What happens maybe when we get a little bit depressed? What I found works for me is get my mind off my troubles. Mm. Because if you focus exclusively on your troubles, mm -hmm. you know, then your troubles loom large. It's yeah, sort of like, it makes sense. yeah, it, a good comparison would be, for example, when you're feeding a cat mm -hmm. and the cat gets bigger, mm -hmm. you know, some people feed their anxieties and they feed their fears and they feed all their depressive you know, emotions until you know, their small, tiny house cat becomes as large as a mountain lion. Mm -hmm. And then it seeks to devour them in total. Yes. So basically, remove your mind from what is ailing you. You know, <laughs> I would just like to encourage them to not define yourself by your disability. So whether you're handicapped or not, do not focus on what you can't do. Because mm -hmm. the most depressing years of my life, I lost nine and a half years to depression, which is why I wanted to do this video. Wow. Nine and a half years that I wish I could get back, I can't, I can't get those years back. What I can do is help some other fella, some other gal, from making that same mistake. If your handicap is that depressing for you, then double your efforts, triple your efforts, and then quadruple those efforts to try and help somebody else. Mm. Because wow. the most, that, yeah, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was just saying that's powerful. It's more than powerful, it, it, it's liberating, why? Because you'll feel so much more impactful and powerful and victorious. You'll just feel so much better about yourself and about your own capabilities in terms of being able to liberate somebody else or help somebody else that mm -hmm. you'll realize that what's got you down or what's got you held back isn't really as oppressive and mammoth as your mm -hmm. mind had led you falsely to believe. Mm -hmm. Because the battle is always interior. If we can win the interior battles, the exterior battles more often than not will take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. If you believe, for example, that nothing good happens to you and that you know you're you're doomed that there's like a generational curse or a family curse involving alcohol and melancholia then they would breathe life into that and that would become their fate even mm -hmm. though that's not god's perfect will there again it's the mind yes can you conquer that and then your reality it unfolds itself and then it reshapes itself to whatever you can conceive and whatever you can imagine. You have to master your mind first. It's, I also talk about always putting yourself in solution mode rather than staying in problem mode. Mm -hmm. Most people stay in the problem. They think about the problem, they fester over mm -hmm. it, they, they wallow in how miserable they are or depressed they are. And that's just just prolonging the depression, the, the problem. But instead, you have to just, the first thing you should do when you feel like depressed or hopeless is to think of possibilities, get into solution mode, possibility mode, where, or, or make a list of possible things that you could do to get out of this situation, possible things that you can do that inspire you. Because then when you get into that possibility mode, your brain's already lifting up. It's starting to to feel hopeful again and then feel inspired and happy again. Mm -hmm. And if we yep. focus on the things that are within our control, yeah. you know, the things that are not in our control, we won't suffer and agonize and mm -hmm. ruminate over those things. Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, those things that we can control, the best thing we can do, the only thing we can do is to lift up a prayer and or our good thoughts and try and carry on so that we can enrich the lives of others.